Good morning, Zio here. And today is Sunday, which means it's time for our Sunday gaming roundup, where we go ahead and quickly, br quickly, briefly, <laughs> where we briefly go over the stories that we covered this week, add a few things, maybe not add a few things, you know, update that sort of stuff, and maybe talk about something else at the end of the video. Um, however, there is no extra, of course, this week. There hasn't been for a while because I haven't really had anything that I could just blurt out there and say, okay, this is the thing that happened. That's cool. I don't have much thoughts on it anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, so with that, grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax. And let's get into it, shall we? Starting off this week, we did a small little video about tryhards ruining video games and hacks, by the way, too, uh, because hacks definitely are ruining some video games out there with this uh, try, or try guys, this, gosh, what is it called again? <laughs> Fall Guys Ultimate um, whatever thingy, uh, Ultimate Knockout thing where, you know, it, it's a party game, right? It's a huge party game and people got all upset and did some, and had issues because, you know, the controls are a bit slippery, the, the person's slippery, and, and some people are just really, really good at the game. And they're upset that the fact that people are really good. Now, I can sit there and understand the whole hacking thing, right? Because there are people clearly hacking in the game, you know, with speed hacks and other things, uh, which needs to probably have something done to it, or done to them anyway. But, um, you know, this, this idea of, you know, getting upset because there are better players than you, it was a bit ridiculous. <laughs> just, just gonna say that's, wow, that that's that's on the ridiculous side. You know, there's always gonna be somebody better than you. Always gonna be somebody better than you at some point, sometime. And it's just one of those things you're just gonna have to get used to. It happens. There, there are people who try really, really hard, and, and you know they want to win the game, considering that's kind of the goal of the game to win it. Um, but yeah, and, and we looked over some other things where people just can't do stuff and stuff, but you know, it was a fun little time, you know, about seven or eight minutes. I can't really remember, but you know, it was fun, uh, to take a look at. And then Tuesday, we decided to take a look at Apple, right? Apple versus the world or, or the world versus Apple. I don't know anymore because things just keep coming and coming. And then there's updates and other stuff because... What I didn't cover under that is Apple striking back at Epic, where they were like, uh, yeah, so we're going to drop the Unity engine, right? Or Unreal. It's Unreal. Anyway, um, their engine, right? And they were just going to stop it and not allow development to happen and all this other things, which is going to throw a lot of games into chaos that actually are available on there or currently being developed. And um, a judge has come in and said, yeah, sorry, Apple, you can't do that one. Um, it, it does, it, it feels a, a little weird, right? Because it, it kind of feels like, you know, Epic went in, right? And, and purposely did a thing where they violated the TOS and then are demanding that Epic continues to service them, uh, in other capacities, I guess you can say, um, which is a little weird. But at the same time, there are other games at stake at that point in time because it's just not Epic. It's anyone who's using their engine that happens to be on Apple or is currently developing on their engine for Apple um, iOS that is going to be affected by it. So in the grand scheme of things, I can, I can see where, you know, throwing an injunction or whatever in there and going, no, 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 hold up, hold up. You want to ban Epic? That's fine. You can ban Epic because they purposely violated your TOS. Um, you know, and, and that did come through where now, you know, the engine is still usable and, and assets and stuff like that are still going to be usable. However, as of right now, there's still the stalemate between Epic's Fortnite and Epic itself versus Apple and Google, of course. Uh, you know, and we talked about my theories and why I think they're going about that. So if you hadn't seen that, go check out the video. All these links to every one of the videos, whether you're on the bit shoots or the YouTubes is down in the description down below if you want to check it out further and see, you know, the, the stuff that was talked about through there. And then we talked about Billy Mitchell suing another content creator, right? Um, what was it, Carl Jobs? I can't say his last name. Anyway, um, we, we talked a bit about that because there were 
things in here like like this right here that that just felt factually incorrect to me right um and the lawsuit itself or the the paperwork that was sent for the upcoming lawsuit where uh you know they claimed that this person has said a thing and um but the thing they said wasn't exactly that um like for instance the guinness has been uh sufficiently paid off by our client in order to reinstate his records that was never actually said and if you went and saw the original video which was a video about guinness world record or guinness book of world records to begin with um you know that's not what it was exactly said <laughs> it was a hypothetical two-part question that was posed that maybe they had gotten and i'm paraphrasing at this point because i don't have the actual thing up this time but uh you know where where things were um it, it was posed that maybe that either they were fearful of a possible lawsuit because billy mitchell had sued twin galaxies and uh, billy mitchell also went after another content creator um sometime after that there is something on my tongue yeah anyway <laughs> um that that's 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 a great clip anyway <laughs> coffee let's pretend that didn't happen i'm not cutting it out anyway <laughs> um no but you know either they got scared that there may have been a lawsuit coming out or maybe somebody had paid you know guinness some money because that seems to be the guinness thing right they they are a for-profit company apparently and uh you know if you pay them enough money to send somebody out to validate your score and whatever thing that you're doing to get yourself into the book they'll do that right um but we did go over that and my thoughts about it of course everything in that is my opinion um you know for the most part <laughs> when, when, when it when i'm not like reading a direct quote of course you know but uh yeah so we did talk about that for a bit and uh we'll be talking about some more things this week because there is an update with the apollo legends thing and then i'm going to actually sit down and do a video in defense of billy mitchell because i figured that sounds like it'd be a great thing to do because there are questions I don't have answers to and yeah I want to explore that so we'll do that <laughs> anyway then we did another video this video is kind of unrelated but it was in the video that we talked about because um, we were exploring the possibilities of World of Warcraft having housing right and I was showing off different versions of housing systems that were in place already in other games like Star Wars the Old Republic Final Fantasy 14 um, and how they move things around assets and stuff like that you know it's still something I really really want to happen it's probably not gonna happen and now we have a release date for Shadowlands which I do plan to take that week off from work. Therefore, um, I can stream it because I still have vacation days, you know, a little over a week. So <laughs> we're going to take that off and I plan to actually stream Shadowlands. So, you know, come join us for that. Um, but yeah, so we, we did that. We sort of did this in-depth talk about all of that. A lot of fun. Go check it out if you're interested in housing for World of Warcraft. And then, we finished off the week talking about an article that has changed or that like changed names and then has been completely nuked off the internet so all we have is this archive version that took me a minute to find a link for uh, you know but the games we play 25 online games that women enjoy and we went over statistics actual statistics number hard numbers looking at you know the studies where some of this information might have come from <coughs> from the article oh gosh i'm gonna die yep i died i have the or i don't have the rona don't worry I'm, I'm just gonna have a dying fit because i have allergies and we have high pollen count today super high anyway we we took a you know a look at these numbers here and we actually correlated that with an actual study that was done and where the numbers actually are coming from because uh, i of course when i first saw the number it was like wasn't that higher not that long ago and, and sure enough it was you know there were more females playing games a couple of years ago or last year or something like that like i guess it was 2018 or something than there are now apparently now there's 41. uh <laughs> and then we of course talked about you know the definition of gamer i guess uh you know the difference between an actual gamer versus a non-gamer and so forth and you know what they're defining as gamers and versus what actually is a gamer to a gamer and you know it's it's a weird 
weird thing to go into but you know in the end we we came up with you know this this list is kind of accurate right it's pretty dang accurate uh to be to be to be honest uh you know because a lot of women do play a lot of those match three style games and stuff so having something like a puzzle game or or a math game or something like sudoku it's not a weird thing but you know because this article came out which was of course written by a woman because you know we we, we can't leave that out because uh, they're going to forget that part of it as the, you know, Twitterverse completely melted down as a result to this article because reality is now offensive. And I think that's what I titled the video. Something like that. You should go check it out. Anyway, then Saturday we talked about upcoming games, which I cannot actually show you because it's not uploaded yet. It is about 50% rendered. 60% rendered. Anyway, um, no, nah, but seriously, uh, yeah, I got a really late start, and I'm recording this on Saturday, right after I recorded the Saturday gaming list, which is coming out really, really late on a Saturday afternoon. Um, so I apologize, but we did talk about, we, we looked over some very, uh, game, a lot of games that are coming out, Crusader Kings 3, um, you know, an, an RTS that looked kind of cool, uh, a couple of racing games, dirt bike, um, mystery, open world mysteries and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you hadn't checked that out, maybe go check it out. Maybe there's a game coming out for you that you may be interested in. Just don't know it exists yet. Anyway, with all that, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will talk to you later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And, of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.